the sun was shining and the stadium was full, with one or two familiar faces in the crowd. Not been the most polished display of football in the afternoon, but Jordy Tommy Johnson pulled a little something out of the bag to clinch the title for us, even if it was on the second attempt. And Larson, it opens up for him unselfishly to Tommy Johnson. Johnson gets the party going. Something have turned up. We just couldn't wait for the match to end. But eventually, when the final whistle did go, the celebrations could begin in earnest. Their time has come. Their time is now. Celtic are champions of Scotland for only the second time in 13 years. Martin O'Neill has won the league in his first season. An amazing achievement. Just as he did at Leicester. Celtic finished 21 points behind Rangers. Today, they have moved 22 points ahead of them. And just get a load of this. Three silences is the bit we're waiting for. I think I, I would like to thank two, two sets of people. I would like to say, I'd like to obviously thank you for your massive support. This is one of the great days of my life. The truth, the truth of the matter is this year, we could not have won this without the players. Thank you very much. And so the league was won, and we were 21 points clear of Rangers. And the partying continued well into the night, here and around the world. Championship today, so what more can you ask for? No, it's very, very hard, but we won the league. We won the league. Well, most importantly, most importantly, we're absolutely delighted. Just phenomenal, phenomenal. 
No, it's as a player you always want to win as much as possible when uh, when you play for your club. And uh, this is my second uh, championship medal here at Celtic, and uh, this always uh, feels as good as the first one. I'm happy that uh, I've only won a prize. You know, I mean, it's the first big prize I've won in my career, so I'm really happy. You know. To walk out, when, I, when I walked out, first of all, as manager, away back when we played Bordeaux, you know, to a, a great welcome, and you never, you could never believe in your wildest dreams it could end like this. It's because they play like gentlemen and they play fast and furious. There's nobody can beat them. Yeah, it just shows you a turnaround a uh, year makes. You know, last year the Ross were five years behind Rangers, so you know it's uh, just funny how things turn around. All of a sudden, you're saying to yourself. We tickers going, and uh, you see, is the party going to be spoiled? But fortunately, it hasn't been spoiled. Undertaking all the the hopes and the dreams of, of the support, all the pressure that goes with it, and they've handled it absolutely magnificently. And also, the most important people with all is the supporters. Uh, tonight, I'm just one of them, and, and just as happy as any Celtic supporter. And um, they're coming here to Scotland, Dale Winton, Pavarotti, Domingo, and Carreras. And it's called three tenors and a nine bob note. <laughs>